Stephen Litt. Uh, I'm from the University of Waterloo. I represent Waterloo Speed, a Waterloo soft platform from Express Engine Development. Uh, this is a senior design project you see in front of you. We used a compact Rio to fully reverse engineer the Bosch ECU. That was the first stage of the project. The second stage of the project, we implemented our own controller on the same piece of hardware, compact Rio. So in eight months with four students, we were able to, be able to pull this off, believe it or not. So, we learned a lot. It's been very, um, lots of fun in the process. Can you describe a little bit about the uh, system and how it's designed and what, what it does? Yeah, so uh, for those that don't really understand engine control, um, we're doing we're controlling just about everything under the hood. All of your, your fuel injection, spark plug, electronic throttle body, all of your emission standards and such. Um, and to go beyond that, we also incorporated um, actuating the pneumatic suspension in the same controller. So sort of a, a full vehicle platform. So in the back seat, um, in the back seat area you can't see, but we have the Braco box and the compact Rio um, that lines where the back seat used to be. In the trunk, this is our air suspension system uh, with a compressor, a filter, the tank to house the compressed air, as well as eight solenoids to actuate all the wheels, uh, all four corners rather, up and down. Well, what are some of the challenges you encountered in making this? Uh, well, first of all, um, Bosch or any, any automotive manufacturer, when they put an ECU together, it's very hush-hush. Um, they invest hundreds of thousands of dollars and it takes quite a few engineers to do so. so. We had to really um, get into the nitty gritty. We had to deal with 121 pins in this ECU and sort of characterize and understand what each signal did and why it was important. Um, also, some very automotive specific hardware issues like driving smart uh, coils, um, driving electronic throttle bodies, that sort of stuff. So lots of vehicle integration stuff, getting the hands dirty, getting under the hood, pulling stuff out of the car, taking it to the lab. Um, Try to do one thing at a time, so drive the throttle body, drive a fuel injector, drive a spark plug before we could sort of bring everything together and uh, try to run the engine. So. Well, thank you very much. Cool, thanks. Take care.